Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, uh, I have the uh, Hubson Zeno Mini Pro again, and uh, I just did a flight out here at Heroes Park where we took it out and, and, uh, and tested it with regard to Wi-Fi interference and did a little obstacle avoidance testing. But now I wanna show you a feature uh, on this drone that's pretty cool and that uh, to my knowledge only Hubson has provided this feature and I've used it on uh, other drones in the past namely the uh, the Xeno 2 and it works really well and they have uh, a, a version of line fly mode now I've seen line fly mode on other drones but the line fly mode on uh, Hubson drones has some interesting features and uh, so let's take it up and we're going to try them out I'm going to show you how it works and uh, let's, uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this drone in the air. Okay, we've got the drone uh, fired up and we've get, it says it's ready to fly. I'm gonna take a quick look at the, uh, uh, at, at the uh, menu real quick. Yeah, searching for drone apron is on. So let's, uh, didn't mean to do that. We're gonna X out of there, click on ready to fly and it'll give us that, uh, yeah, it says everything is normal. So we're good to go there. Let's uh, look at the, uh, let's go ahead and take off first and then we can look at the camera menu. So again, uh, it, to do a manual takeoff, uh, both sticks out and that uh, fires up the motors and then uh, left stick up and you get a nice smooth takeoff there. So I've got the drone hovering just a, a little bit, uh, a little, about a meter off of the uh, pad there. We'll give it a good look at the pad. Uh, and you know, one thing I haven't done in a while, let's look at the map here. Let me see if I can switch this to map. Yeah, so I was able to do that. And I think, uh, yeah, I can I can just touch it and that will expand it out. And we're gonna use that later. So uh, we're gonna go back to the FPV view. Let's look at the, uh, at the camera menu again. We're gonna switch it to video, excuse me. Look at the camera menu. Uh, click on the camera 4k 30. That's what we want click on the three dots uh, White balance. We are going to put that on manual so that it holds the white balance uh, right there at 5,000 and uh, Let's look at one more thing in there uh, that I meant to look at and that's the bit bit rate is at 100 so we're gonna leave that there Yeah, we're good. Let's start recording Recording has started Let's uh, let's do our usual droney. Turn it around here, and again we're in normal mode. And boy, this drone, Hubson, congratulations on the flight controls on this guy. It is uh, exemplary. Uh, it just handles really great now. So, rock it back and forth there. You can see that gimbal moving. And uh, and let's do our uh, our droney now. So, I'm going to go reverse and up now. Reverse and up. And I'm hitting the up stick pretty hard because we got some sprinklers out there. Wanted to make sure I got above those sprinklers. That's me adjusting the gimbal. Grab some more altitude. Okay, so that is where we're at. Uh, we're not going to do a, a crazy long uh, droney, but let's move it sideways here and, uh, and bring it back in. We can bring it down a little bit. Let's get it down. We were up about 30 meters there. Let's take it down to about uh, 20 meters. That ought to keep us uh, well out of harm's way with regard to sprinklers, etc. And let me get it uh, kind of close enough uh, that to uh, that you can see uh, where we're at here in in the uh, picnic shelter. So to do uh, line fly mode, we're going to click on that X or what looks like a little drone in the top left hand corner and we're going to go down to the very bottom there where it says line fly mode and it's going to give you uh, several uh, selections there now uh, the top one is angle and that's the one that you're most interested in if we leave it at uh, zero uh, the drone should fly i believe zero will put it in reverse either zero or 360 but it'll fly straight forward or straight backward I can't remember which distance we're gonna leave it really short here because we don't want to back over the top of anything so I'm trying to set who is so hard it's difficult because it's uh, 24 meters that's what it's gonna be it's not gonna go very far 
and uh, relative height we're gonna leave it where it's at now you could change that if we wanted to gain an altitude while it's doing while it's doing its maneuver you could change the height and speed we're gonna want to move that up to I don't know let's go two meters per second fairly slow and uh, let's preview flight route let's click on that and that gives us the map and uh, that will kind of tell us where the drone is going to go so uh, I'm going to leave it on the map here and then we can see the video off the drone we're going to execute immediately now uh, on zero I believe it'll go backwards but I can't remember so we're going to execute immediately line fly started and now it's moving forward so it's coming towards us so if we put it on 360 it'll move backwards so so it's doing that line fly and I'm just going to leave the uh, the uh, the gimbal alone and it looks like it stopped already right yeah it's at zero so so we didn't go very darn far so so that's it so remember that zero degrees will send you forward so now let's uh, let's see if we can send it uh, directly backwards so we're gonna go back click on that X again and we're gonna click in line fly mode and we're gonna move uh, the angle up to 360 degrees and that should send it backwards. Let's click that distance up. We can go, ooh, man, that distance. I wish there was a easier way to, uh, to move that. This used to be restricted to like 100 meters, I think, on the original uh, Hubson Zeno, but now it'll go up to six, I mean, it'll six kilometers. So you can set it to fly in a line a long way. So relative height, we're gonna leave that at zero. Well, maybe we can move it up just a little. Let's uh, move it up. Yeah, 11 meters so we should see it rise in height 11 meters as it moves back and the speed we'll leave that again so preview flight route that gives us the map again and let's uh, let's execute immediately and it should well the drone is moving forward again <laughs> uh, so I, I I thought one of those was forward and one of them was backwards so Evidently, uh, evidently, 360 is moving it forward. We'll let it. We'll let it finish here. As soon as we see the speed go to zero, we'll know it's done. And it's almost right over the top of us now. But let me tell you, explain to you uh, when this would come in handy. So, let's say you're trying to get a shot of. Uh, a moving car on a particular track or or a sports team that's moving down uh, down the field or something and you wanted to repeat yeah so there it came to a stop so uh, you know what let's uh, I'm gonna turn the drone around 180 degrees and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can uh, run that again and we'll get it back over the top of us I Boy, I, I would have swore that I've done that in reverse before, but but evidently not. So let's uh, let's go ahead. Let's go back into line fly, and we'll try that one more time. 360, 98 meters, relative height. So so let's 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 move the height up quite a bit here, and let's see if it'll if it'll raise an altitude. Uh, that far so in fact let's move the speed way up let's get let's get it moving pretty fast four meters per second and preview flight route and it gives us the map execute immediately and we should see it uh, raise in altitude and it is and it's coming back towards us and it's moving a lot faster three uh, 3.3 meters per second and you can see the height is is going up there. It's changing that relative altitude, and uh, it's still moving. So we'll see when it gets back. And I'm watching the drone up there. It's moving. It's almost. Uh, it's right in front of me here. Ways up there, and there is a hawk that is looking that drone over. Hawk or an eagle? He's flying circles around it. So okay, that one is done. Okay, so let's go back into the screen here. Uh, the the uh, the drone is is up there a ways so let's bring it back down
and uh, and bring it back towards us again and I'm going to show you uh, I know how to make it move sideways now we're going to have to work on that forward and reverse yeah I could have swore that, that either 360 or 0 would would uh, would reverse it but uh, and I kind of took a guess at that so let's turn the drone around again get it facing us And I'm going to bring it over in front of me again here a little bit. And uh, and let's, uh, moving it forward just a little. And I'm going to try that one more time. I, there, I, I just want to see. And I'm going to, this time, last time I was looking at the FPV screen, I'm going to look at the drone. And I'm, we're going to try that uh, direction again. So we're going to click line fly mode. We are going to set the angle at zero. Or you know what? What am I thinking? 180. Gosh darn it, guys. Uh, I apologize for that. 180 is going to get us reverse. So let me see if I can get that right on 180. There's 180. So you guys are going to laugh at me. Uh, but I just wasn't thinking clearly there. Yeah, 180 is going to get us reverse. So uh, distance, uh, yeah, 98 meters is good. Let's, gonna, let's just put that relative height. Well, let's go up a little bit. Let's put it at 13 meters. Uh, let's go. We can go pretty fast here, so we'll leave it at 4 meters. Preview flight route. Man, I feel dumb. Uh, yeah, 180. We'll put it in reverse. <laughs> God, I'm sorry, guys. Execute immediately. I feel dumb. Okay. Line fly started. There it goes. And the drone is indeed moving away from me. Uh, wow. Wow. I don't know what I was thinking there. So either zero or 360, you're going to move forward. <laughs> I need to watch my own video that I did with the Zeno 2 Plus or the Zeno 2. And if you put it on 180, the drone will will go in reverse. And again, why do you want to do this? Well, if you wanted to repeat uh, the same flight over and over again in an area, this is a good way to do it. And it's automated. You could focus on the camera then. Uh, because you can change, I'll show you, you can change the uh, camera's uh, uh, pitch and, uh, and you also could then, and we're at the end here, so let's bring it back forward. Uh, we're going to move it up pretty quickly here. You, you, all, you also can move side to side, so we'll look at that too. And uh, yes, I can add, folks. Uh, so we, you guys know that moving side to side, we're going to set it at, uh, and I better get some height here. We got we got sprinklers that maybe could get that high so I'm gonna make sure I'm up high enough to be above all those sprinklers okay so uh, let's see if we can move uh, uh, if I think if I set it on 90 degrees it's gonna go to the drones left so let's click on that line fly mode again and let's move uh, to 90 degrees on the angle and I suspect uh, Excuse me, I think that moves to the drone's right. And it would be to my left. So, uh, distance, uh, yeah, we, we're going to, I'm going to drop that a little bit. There are 70 meters, that's enough. Relative height, let's, uh, let's, we'll bring it up a little bit. Let's set it at 20 meters. So it's going to, it'll rise 20 meters and it'll go to the drone's right, my left, uh, 70 meters and let's let's slow it down to about three meters per second we don't need to go that fast so uh pre preview flight route again and uh let's uh let's execute immediately and i'm thinking i'm going to see the drone go to my left and i am and again you know why is that important to you let's just say that you were following uh you had the drone hovering uh, off in the distance and you were uh following a track meet and something and you wanted to follow the runners uh this you could use this and you and you could make it repeatable so if you had different races you could make it repeatable same thing at some kind of a motorsports event you could you could repeat that flight over and over again so there that's the end of that one Let's, uh, let's bring the drone uh, back to us. So I am just hitting the stick. This is me hitting the stick sideways here. And let's drop some altitude while we're at it. 
and I got it kind of right in front of me here again and okay so let's go back into the uh, map and yeah we're 12 meters high so so now I want it to go to the drones left my right as I'm facing the drone let's go back in there again and we're gonna click on line fly mode and uh, we're gonna move that uh, uh, angle up to one or excuse me 270 degrees 270 so there's 270 so the drone like I said will go to its left my right and we're gonna leave all those other uh, parameters the same preview flight route you can see it right there uh, we are going to execute immediately and there you go and the drone is uh, is moving to its left my right and it's executing that perfectly So that's line fly mode. Let me uh, let me drop the gimbal here. Show you we can drop the gimbal. Can we? Yeah, we can rotate the drone while it's doing that too. Okay. So that's something we'll experiment with here as well. Let's uh, let's bring the drone back to us. Okay, you can see me down there. Okay, so we're gonna do that again, and this time uh, we're gonna go a little bit uh, further distance. Well, in fact. Let's let's start it. Uh, let's. I'm going to move the drone further over, and I'm going to pick it up here so that you're looking at the uh, at the parking lot here. Fun stuff, huh? And let's uh, let's go in there again. Line fly mode, and we're already on 270 degrees, but we're going to kick the distance up this time. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Ooh, that was way too far. 199 meters I was shooting for 200 uh, let's leave uh, relative height at zero so it's not going to change its height at all uh, and speed uh, yeah three meters per second is good enough so let's preview flight route and so that you can see the line there is the that's the what where the, the direction the drone is going to go and where it's going to end up and we're going to execute immediately and it started and I'm going to go back into that screen and I'm going to show you into the FPV screen and I'm going to show you that's me adjusting the gimbal so as it goes by us here you can see me down there on the controls and let's yaw the drone around to its left and I can pick the camera up while I'm doing it too much I mean to go that far there's that rule of thirds and heck we can even look the other way pretty darn cool so what that does for you is you know you can automate that flight and you know you can almost think of that as a point-to-point -point waypoint mission uh, but I can see where that'd be really handy like I said if you were trying to repeat a shot over and over again you could just uh, set that up and have it set up where you, you're focused on the camera not so much on uh, on what you're doing with the drone drone is still moving here I am gonna stop yeah it stopped okay I didn't want it to get too close to those trees uh, okay let's uh, I think we've shown what this will do so let's move back out to the uh, corner of the park out here and there's not a lot to take pictures of today because, uh, boy, I mean, the smoke and haze, we just can't really see anything off in the distance. So I'm going to put it out in the corner out here and, uh, and turn it around. And we are going to do a return to home and, uh, and see how close we can get to that uh, landing pad. So actually, you know, rather than point the drone at me, I'm going to point it the other way and we'll see it change its orientation. So I'm going to hit uh, return to home on the controller this time. I'm going to hold the uh, controller up so you can see it on the GoPro. Hit that button and it is in return to home mode. And yeah, it took it and look at that. It changed its orientation and it's heading back towards us. You know, I've heard some people say that return to home is only for emergency situations. I, I disagree. Again, it's another one of those situations where 
it's in return to home mode you can focus on the camera just like i'm doing right now dropping the gimbal down uh and and the drone is coming back so let's see if it uh, let's see if it'll find that landing pad uh hubson is getting better and better at this so we're a ways off but let's give the drone a chance to uh to get down a little bit to come down in altitude and i bet you we're gonna hit that right on the money look at sees it right look at that target on the fpv screen and it's moving over it likes it i should have turned it over on the blue side just for the fun of it so as it gets closer it kind of it kind of loses it well there it sees it again so so i'm i'm watching the drone pause and it is not going to quite hit it i don't think but it's not going to hurt anything we're just in the grass here i tilted the gopro down so you'll see it so it's mowing a little bit of grass but we're okay okay let me get everything shut down and, and we'll do just do a real quick conclusion hey okay the uh, hubson xeno mini pro it, it's so much fun to see all the improvements that hubson is making to this drone uh They've always, Hubson has always done a really good job at their, on their intelligent flight modes. I mean, even you go back to the original Hubson Zeno, it didn't have a lot of intelligent flight modes, but what it had worked perfectly, including tracking, which is a big deal. Uh, so they do that really well. And uh, so what we took a look at this time was that line fly mode, and uh, we showed it worked perfectly. I stumbled a little bit on that zero and 360. I don't know what I was thinking, guys, but... Uh, what I can tell you is when I do do a video, I show my mistakes and everything. So, uh, but in any case, 180 to make it go in reverse, 180 degrees. Holy cow! Uh, but then uh, uh, to go to the drone's right, 90 degrees to do the drone's left, you set it on 180 degrees. What does that allow you to do? It allows you to set a repeatable flight path so that when you're using this drone out in the field to uh, to track runners any some kind of sports whatever kind of event or if you're just trying to uh, uh, you know maybe follow a train or or the side of a building or something you can repeat the shot over and over again so you can repeat that flight path and what you could do then is uh, you, you could you, then that leaves you to control the uh, yaw of the drone as well as the the gimbal pitch so you're working on the camera the drone is doing the flying uh, the only thing i'm going to remind you of is uh, this does have obstacle avoidance front and rear but it doesn't have sideways obstacle avoidance so if you're moving it sideways you could run it right into the side of a building or a tree or something so be aware of your flight path uh, but in any case, uh, I guess that's about it. And uh, yeah, I'm just tickled to death that uh, Hubson continues to improve this little guy and we'll keep testing it and we'll keep showcasing features uh, as they improve. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, you know, most of all, I really want you to know that I appreciate it uh, when you take the time to look at my videos. And, of course, we'll see you on the next one. And, uh, yeah, thanks again, the, uh, the Hubson Zeno Mini Pro. Uh, it's, it's just really fun seeing this thing improve uh, as they roll out new uh, updates for it. So, okay, we'll see you guys later. Enough jibber-jabbering. Bye.